Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So it seems like every game is outselling The Last of Us Part 2 despite The Last of Us Part 2 having a huge marketing campaign despite it being based on The Last of Us, the first game, a very good game which was a success and beloved by almost everyone who played it despite the fact that Naughty Dog trying to deceive customers by making them think that Joel is going to be in the game and of course he wasn't in there we all know how it went down so yeah despite all of that I think the best way to describe the situation is that Naughty Dog's disingenuousness just bit them back and in my opinion they totally deserve it so here on Amazon we have the best sellers of 2020 in video games so of course you have the first three places for those gift cards because you know digital sales are getting stronger stronger every year but when it comes to actual games like games physical copies or digital the first one here is Animal Crossing New Horizons for the Nintendo Switch it's a very popular game and it shows that Nintendo games have the right formula to have this kind of game that is loved by everyone and doesn't try to quote unquote educate you about something. Surprisingly Animal Crossing again New Horizons and this is the digital version is also in the second place when it comes to games, actual games as I said, Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing. And then the surprise here is the third place which goes for Super Mario 3D All-Stars. I have talked about the fact that this game is being sold at large amounts of money on eBay because Nintendo decided to have this limited edition which is going to end on March and it seems that demand is growing like really huge for this game and it even surpassed The Last of Us Part 2. This game like isn't even out yet if I'm not mistaken. I think these are just pre-orders for September the 18th which is the release date of the game and with all that it still manages to beat The Last of Us Part 2 which benefited from a lot of factors to help it boost its sales and of course the sales for The Last of Us Part 2 were like really big in the first month after that it just went down to the ground next game is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe so you can see here that Nintendo is killing it like all of these games are Nintendo games because these games are beloved by everyone and because they don't have any kind of identity politics behind them or any kind of vindictive feelings in there the people at Nintendo like and love their customers because they are customers because if you have a customer you should like them you should respect them at least Naughty Dog definitely didn't do that with the latest installment that they had which is The Last of Us Part 2 and you can see here it's in number 21 overall and we can just scroll down here and can see that even some old games like Minecraft are making it in the list Breath of the Wild which is another excellent game is also making it in the list despite it not being a 2020 release and then here we have this Ring Fit Adventure for the Nintendo Switch so yeah overall the Nintendo Switch is the king of sales when it comes to video games at least on amazon.com and this also explains why The Last of Us Part 2 didn't show the sales in the United States because I think they weren't up to their expectations and speaking about Super Mario 3D All-Stars it seems like Super Mario 64 is going to have improved textures so it's not going to be like the game from the Nintendo 64 you know just kind of ported to the Switch but it's a little bit of a remake and you can see here the comparison between the Nintendo 64 here and the Nintendo Switch so on the Nintendo Switch things look crisper and clearer and that's a good thing that Nintendo did in there. There is also here another picture so probably we will see more improvements for Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario Galaxy who knows but at least Super Mario 64 is this older game so I think it needed those improvements a lot more than Super Mario Sunshine or Super Mario Galaxy and remember that these games aren't new and they're still in the best selling games of 2020 so it shows that a good product is going to stand the test of time no matter what and that people are really keen to replay in their favorite games 
Another example of that is Resident Evil 2, which was totally remade and it was a huge success for Capcom. They didn't even expect it would sell that well. And amongst all of the gloom that 2020 has given us, at least we're having some kind of good news in there. These Mario remakes are definitely most welcome. They're going to bring back old fans nostalgia and whatnot and they're also going to give a chance to new players to experience these games at a better resolution and in a newer piece of hardware so it's all a win-win for gamers and for nintendo and for naughty dog there will be other games that outsell the last of us part 2 in my opinion it is not the game that one would want to play it's not a pleasant experience at all the choices the story and the kind of condescending messages it tries to tell are not welcome at all for a lot of people thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more leave your comments down below tell your opinions about this and i will talk to you again soon have a good one